What's up dudes? We are on Denmark Street at a very, very iconic flat today. This is where the Sex Pistols rented in 1975, a long, long time ago. Come on in. So in terms of your affiliation now with the Sex Pistols, it's been all of what, two weeks? Yes, and I have a brain full of Sex Pistols facts. To be fair, you were actually busting names of tracks that I had no idea yeah. existed. What was it, Ring It, Ring Ling? Ring It in the Ring In. Which was particularly <laughs> as being a native Irish woman yourself. That's why it's my favorite. Yes. So would you would you say favorite Sex Pistol track? Actually, Go. Oh, mind your head. Mind your Actually, head. Bodies is probably my favorite track. Bodies. Yeah, but bring it in the ring just because it's about Irish people. And, and you know Johnny Rotten's parents were Irish. And we had a theory that there might be a family connect, possibly, potentially. To me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe. F you reaching, never know. reaching. Um, speaking of which, there's a very, very uh, iconic location to your left or at that my left. That is the Sex Pistol toilet. Where it is, Johnny Swat! Rotten's shit still lives. So potentially he could have written songs there for all we know. Yeah, I mean, you write the best songs on the toilet. It's facts. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm pretty sure this is where the magic happens. I can. Act, we can kind of hear music up there. So as a, as a cue, what we got up there, Missy? Well, we have a very, very special guitar with us today. This is the guitar that they recorded, never mind the bollocks on. It's pretty iconic. And we kind of delved in with Amon earlier on. So in terms of like, I guess, public perception, most people would think that it was the white custom, mm -hmm. but we have, Evidence, yes. otherwise. New fact. Yes, inside information. <laughs> the legend. So tell us about this amazing guitar. How did you get your hands on it? Um, I had to go to a wedding years ago, 1997. Yeah. And there was a guitar auction in the UK and I couldn't go because of the wedding. Mm. And I, I hated myself for not going. <laughs> and during the whole wedding I was thinking, what am I doing here? Yeah. What am I doing? I want to go to the guitar auction. Priorities. So I didn't go. And so the guitar was sold to somebody else, but somebody else I, I knew. Mm. So I, the following day I picked up the phone, he said, I bought the Les Paul. I said, how much do you want for it? <laughs> and, and I bought it the following day. Amazing. So I actually got it. And uh, the reason I bought it is because, first of all, it's a vintage guitar. It's made in 1957. But this is the guitar that Steve Jones used on the album Never Mind the Bollocks. Amazing. I bought the album. Pretty iconic. I, I bought the album when it came out on the first day it came out. I was yeah. I was living in France. I was working in a record shop. I used to open the boxes every morning. Yeah. I opened the box. Th that morning I pulled out the Sex Pistol album. It looked terrible, like <laughs> pink and yellow. I said, what the hell is this? <laughs> I put it on the turntable immediately. I, just, I was blown away, so I'm taking his record home. Mm. And so that would was you say you are the biggest Sex Pistols fan? Um, probably the first. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in, in France, I would say, because nobody ever heard of, of the, yeah. the Pistol. Yeah. So, um, so I was the first in France, I would say, because I got the album out of the box. Amazing. When nobody heard it. So I was manning the shop, I just played it, I took, it, took it home as my pay packet. <laughs> and then 20, 20 years later, this guitar turns up at auction and I cannot go to the auction because of the wedding. Yeah. So I got really pissed off. Anyway, I went the following day, I picked up the phone, I found the guy that owned it. And I said, I know you just bought it, but how much more do you want? I'll give you uh, extra money. Nice. And he sold it to me, so I got a receipt. But the point of me buying this was the part that I love the pistol and I love the album, I love the guitar, mm -hmm. is that this is the guitar that everybody assume was not used on the album. Steve Jones always, there's a lot of photos of Steve Jones with a white, white Les Paul, one, right, yeah, yeah. and everybody knows. But there's at least three, maybe four white Les Paul, that are mm. all Steve Jones, all the one from the, the album. But the truth is that this is the guitar on the album, mm. and I can prove because I got photos of the pistols. I also heard that Steve Jones used to rob all of his instruments, yeah. he used to steal it. Do you think that he stole that one? Very no. no. <laughs> <laughs> you have to call it the solicitors, by the way. But if you look at it, there it oh, is. Oh, sorry, you see the other pictures. Wow. This is the session. Is it, it? This is the session of the pistol recording the album at Wessex Studios. This is not the. This is not at the studio, but those pictures are at the studio. You see the black Les Paul. You see Johnny. 
Wow. And the wireless wall is on the floor. And this is this another picture where you can see Steve with the black less ball, Johnny there and Paul Cook on drum. Okay. There was no bass player on the, on the recording session because if you ask Steve Jones, he will tell you that he played bass on the album as well. So the pistol were three guys at the time when they recorded mm. the album. And this is another great shot of Steve with the Les Paul at the studio wow. using the Les Paul. And then sometime later, like this one, I found this picture where you actually see the serial number. 31, mm. was it 47? 3147? Is it a match? It, we have a yeah. match. Should I get my head out of it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a match. We have Love a match. It. So, and it does are additional pictures of the pistols in the studio recording the album. And as you can see, there's only three guys. There's no bass player. <gasps> Paul Cook. That's my favorite picture. Very young I think guys. I'm in love with Paul Cook. And <laughs> Johnny listening to the tracks. Oh, no. That's pretty iconic. So this, those are the real, sh those are you know really rare photos. Wow. And this is the guitar you hear on the album. It's not the wireless Paul as most people think it is. I think it's time to hear a song. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. Sure. So really like one of the biggest things that we wanted to do at 60 is create community. And being invited by the landlords today to come and shoot is a, a major, major thing and to be given kind of the access. But also one of the things that it is, it's about the rebirth of Denmark Street. And there's been a lot that's been written recently that it's in decline, that it's in decay. And you know, everything that's kind of come to the fore for us today, like whether it's Oman or Missy, it's all come through the store. Mm -hmm. um, I had no idea that, you know, I, I had always assumed that the guitar itself was the, the, the one that everyone... The wireless Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think, like, even to, to kind of, and like, shout out, like, genuinely to come today, um, like, I know we were kind of just joking a little bit, but yeah. I'm sure you get hit up a tremendous amount. Um, so massively appreciate it. And I know that you, this is just the tip of the iceberg in terms of what you have. So if there's anyone that's, like, interested, like, oh, holy shit, like, what else does he have? Where would someone go to find the kind of collection online? Oh, I, I had to build my own collection myself over the last 40 years and hunting pieces like the one we just shot today. Yeah. But eventually I had to publish my own book and basically I published my book with 200 guitars. 200 guitars? Mm. Yeah. That, that, but that's not it. That's just like the, 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 the famous cream. Oh, the oh my goodness. Books in the back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we can do, we do like a little unofficial shout out right there. <laughs> yeah, one person should not have this many treasures. That's the book. Wow. That's insane. And there, there's 200 guitars. The ultimate collection. There's 200 guitars, including the Steve Jones Les Paul. There's a Jimmy Henry's guitar, Richie Blackmore, Jeff Beck. Um, Keith Richards. Keith Richards. <laughs> I forgot him. <laughs> <laughs> Mick Taylor. Jimmy Page. Uh, I can't Boston? say that. No, apparently not, no. He, he wouldn't like it, so, but it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> Rock and roll. There's amplifiers from Jeff Beck, Jimi Hendrix, uh, Eric Clapton, Ginger Baker drum kit from Cream, um, guitar by Richie Blackmore, Tony Iommi, um, I can't remember, too many. But 200 guitars in there, today we shot this one, 50. 57 Les Paul from Steve Jones. The point of shooting this was that I bought the, the Pistols album when it came out on day one and I was just amazed by the sound and the music and what I heard. 20 years later, I bought a guitar that I actually used on the album. And most people like you guys who collect guitars or, or, or like music and guitar, they assume that guitar that you hear on 100%. the album is a wide Les Paul. Everybody's, oh yeah, the wide Les Paul from Steve Jones. But I got probably 
a dozen pictures of the recording session of the pistol in the studio yep. at Wessex Studio with Steve Jones with the headphones on and the engineers recording the album and it's always a black Les Paul and this is the, the guitar you got today. All the tracks on that apart from one as for what I think we use a flying V as well. A, a 75 flying V or something like that. That wasn't even his. But all the shots of the recording session at Wessex on the day of the recording, on the time of the record, is with the black Les Paul. So all those classics on you hear is the black is that Les Paul. Guitar? I mean that we were just saying literally to, to A to be in the room which they they literally they lived in yeah. it's insane um and also to be in front of a piece of history we were just saying it's very easy to kind of let that slide so you know massive massive thank you, thank you. Most, most people walk down the street in denmark street and go past this building without mm. a clue yeah. yeah they have no idea what used to be here on this floor i know what used to be upstairs as well something even even worse <laughs> yeah, so better. it's very interesting you know he knows this Hypnosis, yeah. yeah. You know the, the company that did all the album covers for Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, uh, everybody. They were above here? Yeah, second floor. Fucking hell. Wow, a whole lot of history. Do you know that? You know everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Sick. They did all the album covers for Led Zeppelin. Uh, they, they did uh, UFO, a lot of bands. And this is a door sign. From his nose is that I stole myself <laughs> <laughs> from the door. <laughs> Above this floor, that's hypnosis used to be there. This company that you all the Zeppelin albums, you know all those co covers, they're famous covers. Hypnosis used to work. And so I, I went there to apply for a job at hypnosis about ten times. And they said no. Every time they say no. So to be fair, they kind of owed you that. Yeah. It wasn't really theft. So <laughs> it was just... On the last time I went around, I was so pissed off, I stole a door sign. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, literally, I think when we met, we, uh, I think we had two weeks where we were just backing and forth and we were doing mm -hmm. this video. And we got a full guided tour from Alan. Oh my God. And I think when we came into this room, the first thing we were like was, holy fucking shit, you actually have gone through, like, the painstaking lengths to take all the original graffiti back so you strip the walls mm. i know both you and i like this was probably we the highlight the way for sure this yeah. is the best bit of the tour and you like way 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 more into research clearly than yeah. i am you now you well what did you do i don't even know well, how you did basically it. i find out that all of these animations are actually done by johnny rotten himself that is his illustration of himself hence the cash in hand and smoke in mouth this is meant to be Fatty Jones, Steve Jones. We've got Nancy, not a great, not a great drawing of poor Nancy. And the iconic Sid. And this was, you know, the graffiti that they did and, and they've stripped all of the walls back to get to this good stuff. And the whole idea behind the 55 rooms of Chateau Denmark is that each room is different and this is the Sex Pistols room. So if you are a big Sex Pistols fan, you want to be staying here. Absolutely. How sick. It's pretty, pretty cool. And do you have like, in terms of like being here today, is there like a particular thing about like kind of the experience of, I guess, being kind of brought into what they're doing that mm. really stands out to you? Because I know for me, I was amazed when we went round, yeah. just how much thought went in and the fact mm. that it's like you've got two floors, yeah. which essentially it's like you get to be the Sex Pistols in the 70s, you and get like to live their life. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. Would it be the toilet or? The toilet for the toilet. sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I hope they clean it up a little bit. 